youth-funded Lay We Learn project is having a significant impact on the quality of teaching and learning in secondary schools throughout Sierra Leone, particularly in making schools a safer and more inclusive place for girls and children with disabilities. The real impact the programme has is on people, in schools and in communities, but it's also important to note that the impacts are being delivered by people. Interventions have created and enabled change makers. Change makers have the energy, innovation and commitment to make a real difference in their schools and communities. They are the role models needed to influence behaviour. I think um, change making really starts from the top. I do feel as a minister and as CIO that I get my inspiration from the president. And that inspiration which continues on to teach us really is about ensuring that we understand that the only way we can develop our country is through education, quality education and so it's about equity and access. Children must find the school to be the safest place in their lives, and school remains safe for girls where they are facing sexual and gender-based violence at home and in the community. When they come to school, they need to um, be able to confide in their teachers and the resources who are there provided um, for them there with guidance, counseling, and some of the things we're trying to do is to implement the guidance, counseling, uh, uh, guideline. Before now we had the old version of the teacher code of conduct but uh, the challenge was most teachers do not have access to the teacher code of conduct so they were struggling on even understanding uh, the content of the teacher code of conduct. It has improved the behavior of teachers towards the pupils. Before now we used to face physical violence like beating, kneeling under the sun. It has created more awareness for us the pupils. And now the school environment is more safer for us, more especially for us the girls. And if we experience or witness any form of violence in the school, we either report to the mentor or any trusted adult or write notes and put it in the suggestion box. I like Lucy and I want to be like her because I see her as a mentor. I see her as a big sister. I see her as my secret keeper. She comes around and talks to us, the girls, to be bold enough to talk to our mentors and to write notes and put it in the suggestion box. A lot of the work we do in policy has to revolve around evidence and data. And there are different ways in which we've been using data with teachers particularly. So um, in our annual school census data collection, we have provided tablets back with the headmasters and head teachers and the principals to be the ones collecting data. In the classroom with Lewy Land and some of our partnership, we are rolling out Tangerine to be able to understand learning assessments within classes in secondary schools. It is being used for a lot of things. All the five programs in it, I'm using them, including weekly, even the weekly data reports. I make that every Friday so that I know exactly what's my average attendance of teachers, what the average attendance of PPs, and whether any extracurricular activity affected our, our teaching learning process in the school. Uh, teachers are now able to uh, follow the five steps involved in the lesson plan manual. Before this time, teachers find it difficult how to use the, the lesson plan manual and even uh, try to teach well in the classroom because they have not been monitored and many of them are not able to know the steps involved in the teaching methodology. Some of the teachers are they using the, the old time method, but through the help of Lewy Land and myself as school support officer, I've been able to tell them how they were able to teach effectively in the classroom. I normally do observe math and English teachers when they are teaching in the classroom. And when they finish teaching, then I try to look at areas where they did well and areas that they need improvement. They have given us textbooks like math, English, to study, which has made our lesson improve. Math and English are important to me to become a nurse. In our national development plan, we have targets in how many kids must be able to um, be literate and numerate. So English and mathematics, which are core subjects that our children have, are very important for us. 
And with Lewiland and some of our partners, we've been able to provide teaching and learning materials, school books, particularly in English and math in secondary schools. And between the last two years, subjects in which we've seen increases in passing is English and math. As a government, some of the things we've done to complement the free quality school education is to ensure that we institute policies, policies that will ensure that there is equity and that people are able to access school, stay in school and transition to different parts of their lives. Some of those policies include radical inclusion and comprehensive safety. With radical inclusion, it's to say everyone, particularly girls, people who've been pregnant, uh, people who have disabilities, cognitive, physical disabilities, difference in learning, everybody should be able to access school and receive quality tuition. So my observation, um, because I'm based in this campus, our headmaster have done so well for us in, prov in advocating for us to have tape recorders, typewriters, and textbook build, frame and styles, papers, and also you have also helped us to have a machine that will braille our books that is called the embosser. We cannot see in the, on the blackboard. So the voice recorder serves as a blackboard for us to listen and to get our notes complete. Providing education for the blind child in secondary school needs a whole lot of education both to the teachers, the principals, the pupils and every other stakeholder in that particular school. He has helped students to learn in many ways. He personally takes them classes. There are so many things that we are lacking, but since his inception, we have so many opportunities now. All thanks to him. I have been able to change the lives and the ideas of my pupils, particularly those in secondary school, and together with the administrators in secondary school to actually provide education and to make sure we advocate, I advocate for my blind pupils. We need all these different change makers to be actively because we can't stop. We're so far down the bottom that we have to always be actively on and engaging and collaborating and sharing and being active problem solvers for us to see this trend of uh, positive um, learning outcomes continue. And I think the relationship that we have with partners like FCDO is essential for where the country wants to go, for us to meet our objectives, to deliver free and quality education for our students.